guys! So today, I'm going to be showing you guys a bunch of really old DIYs that I made that and some life hacks. Just so that you guys can see ideas if you guys are getting bored. I'm not actually- I'm not actually going to DIY them, I'm just gonna show you old DIYs. If you guys really want to know where to make these, just look up some of the things that I tell you guys. But this is just old things that I made. And I hope you guys can sort of understand what I'm talking about. If you look at my last video, I show you guys my whole art collection. So everything that I'm showing you guys today was made with the stuff in that collection. And yeah, let's get into this video. The first simple DIY is this Polaroid banner sort of thing. And all you need to do is get a piece of string Get some clothespins and just pin up your Polaroids. Bye! Next DIY is this lamp. This, my mom and I made a few years ago. It was it used to be this pink zebra lamp. I put feather boa around the top and the bottom and then we used some of the flowers to just decorate the whole thing. And then there's also flowers on the bottom. There were two of them, but they fell off because we didn't use the glue correctly. We just hot glued them. I and mean, we hot glued the boas too. This is just some ribbon that we put around the bottom. And then a few months ago, I decided I didn't like the color at all. So I painted it. This is just black, turquoise, gray, and more black. You guys can tell that it was zebra. Yeah, yeah. Now this is the duct tape DIY portion, portion of this video. This was just a regular black letter B that I got from Michaels. Then I just took some duct tape and I put it on here. What I did is I just put it on in strips and then I used a needle to carve out the little edges. But if you have like a simpler letter for your name, like an I, maybe, you guys won't really have to do this step but this came out really nice. Then there's this little duct tape purse. Of course, I don't really wear it, but I still think it's super cute. When you open it up, it just looks like this and just has like a little inside. We used ugly colors for the inside. I actually made this with one of my friends a few years ago and I just used some of the duct tape designs to cut out the flowers. These are duct tape rose pens. You just kind of take the pen and wrap it, and one little petal looks like this. It's just a little square, and I just folded the top edges, and then you just put them all onto the top of the pen in whatever kind of design you want to. You guys can just look up how to make these. They are DIY f rose pens, or duct tape rose pens. This I showed you in the last video. This was just my agenda. I just put some duct tape on the back of it. This was the cover for it. This is just a sharpener I decorated with duct tape. And these are just from the duct tape mania. So this is the book I was showing you guys. It's just a bunch of duct tape DIYs. Some of the DIYs that I just showed you actually came from this book. So just pause if you want to read. This has a lot of great ideas. And you can get this from Michael's at around $10. Another thing I used duct tape for was this pencil case. And I just put duct tape all around the bottom and then I used a piece of thread and I just threaded it through the little mesh. Yeah, yeah. Another thing I did, I just painted the inside of this mason jar and actually the bottom just ended up being like black. All you have to do is just use the sponge brush and just paint it however you want. This is pretty simple. Now it's just this cool pencil cup. I think this DIY is pretty cool. It's just 
a mason jar that I painted. All you need to do is just cut out a heart piece of paper and stick it inside your mason jar and then just paint over it and paint the entire mason jar whatever color you want. And then I just put this little fake candle but you could use a real one. And I just decorated the top of this with like mini duct tapes. This is actually the fashion tape. And yeah. You guys have probably heard of these. The memory jars. I made this like New Year's Eve I think. I just got some little sequins and I put them inside. I actually covered the entire inside of the jar with like glitter paint and then I just stuck all the sequins in it. And I put the um, blow dryer on wait for it to dry then I used some of the fashion tape and I decorated it one of the fashion tapes was with numbers there's another one with letters and I just found the 2015 this is a really cute little idea this was actually originally a cup with a straw so if you cut a piece of paper small enough you could just use it like a little suggestion box and put your memories in it I don't really keep up with this but if you think that you will I think this is a great idea for having memories at the end of the year and just looking over your year this is a bit harder to explain this is just a crocheted basket you just take some yarn like as you can see there's yarn on the inside i know it's not very clear all right here we go and you just start to look use a little circular pattern Okay, this is really hard to explain. I just recommend looking up crochet yarn basket if you guys really want to make one. Another thing I did with the letter is I just painted it. Made this for my best friend, actually. This is one of the coolest DIYs ever. This is just an old pillow that I cut up. And you just cut it. You could cut two squares. You could cut um, one long rectangle and then fold it. All you have to do is stuff the pillow with stuffing and then we just hot glued the edges and then we used some fabric paint to paint on top. And these came out really awesome. They look like really professional pillows and I absolutely love them. I love making pillows. You could also stitch the edges, which I have done in the past, but we just decided not to because hot gluing is way easier. You've probably all seen these. The If you look up DIY tumbler shirts. All it is, is you just buy transfer paper, and then you print out whatever design you want, and then you iron the transfer paper onto your shirt, and then you cut your shirt to whatever length you want it to be, and you have your shirts. If you want to make these, look up DIY tumbler shirts or um, DIY transfer paper shirts, and you'll learn how to make these. These were two shorts I DIY'd last summer. They were originally pants that I just cut. And this one I just put some lace. I just hot glued some lace to the inside. It'd probably be better to stitch it if you're gonna wear them a lot. And there were also these little rips in it. So I took the inside and I just... I just put some lace on the inside. So it came out looking like this. I think these like lace shorts are super awesome. They Same thing with these studded shorts. I just cut them and then I put studs around the pockets. And over here I actually put a stud on this little zipper because there was a zipper on the pocket. And these also came out looking really nice. But again, they don't fit me. This is my first life hack. All you gotta do is take one piece of ribbon and then take another smaller one and put it on top of it, then attach it with a binder clip. You guys could actually like tack these to a wall because the tape at falls a lot. But you just take, and then on the bottom, you just use a paper clip to clip the two together. And I just put a bunch of clips on it and it really helps me stay organized in the morning. I think this is a super awesome idea. This is where I got the idea from. It's from an American Girl book called Clutter Control. And this, and my next DIY is also from it. It's the Contain It. 
this actually works so well. I use this more than anything else. There's also this DIY in the middle of it. So yeah, American Girl can be helpful sometimes. But again, I used all these DIYs years ago. Here was that other DIY. All it is, you just get an empty ice cube tray and you just put a bunch of jewelry in it. I put rings in here. I put earrings. I put hair clips. It's so awesome. And you can like paint this so you could get a more cute one. But I just had this regular white one. These are just a few boxes that I decorated. This is my little art box. I put a Christmas ribbon on the front, which I could take off anytime I feel like. I just ombre this box. And all you need to do to ombre is you just take a color. You could put a little bit of black in it to make the color darker and put a little bit of white in it to make the color lighter. But of course, you always put more white than black because if you put too much black, then it gets a lot darker than needed. So a dot of black, a dab of white. And then I just dabbed a bunch of different colors and you saw these in the last video. It's just some supplies. I just wrote art box. And then this is a box I actually made in school. I just put a bunch of duct tape around it. I just use it to put some more art stuff in it, which was also in the last video. And yeah. Another life hack, which you guys have probably also heard before, just take some cups and put some random stuff in it from your dresser to keep it nice and organized. I ha These are just some Starbucks cups. I just rinsed them out after I had my Starbucks. This is all my eye makeup, and this is all my lip makeup. I have more lip makeup, which is why this is a venti cup, and this is a tall cup. This is also another bin that I use to put stuff in. This one's from Michaels. So when I used to subscribe to the American Girl magazines, there were all of these little DIYs in each issue. I'm actually gonna take a picture of them and make a little slideshow. And these are actually really good ideas that American Girl came up with. Here's everything I just showed you guys. Hope you guys enjoy making some of these if you guys feel like it. Again, for most of these, just look up online what I told you to look up. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And yes, I know I say yeah a lot and so, but it's just what I do. So that was just a few DIYs from around my room that I just never got to show you guys because I made them before I started doing YouTube. They're all from like years ago, but I still have the supplies. If you want to see the supplies, look inside my last video. You can get all the supplies from Michael's or Joann's or whatever your craft store is. Hope to see you guys next time. Make sure to subscribe.